Oh, these are the broccolis. These are the broccolinis. Come on, Josh. We are going to pick the broccolinis for dinner. Wanna have me now? Help me first. It's a broccolini. Okay, pick the rest. So this one. Like this. A pick. Is picking some broccolini. Open it more so it's easier to cut. There you go. Oops. This are the grapes. Grapes. Broccolini. Oh, let's say, let's say it again. And the broccolini. Uh, next would be the uh, celery. Celery. These are celery. Pink celery. Look at all the celery. These are celery that receded from last season. I'll pick some blueberries for tomorrow's breakfast. I saw a lot of um, mockingbirds here, so I would like to pick them before they usually eat them in the morning. So I might wake up late. Um, this will be gone tomorrow if I don't pick them today. The ripe ones. And then there's more on the other side. This is another blueberry bush. same variety as the other one they have smaller fruits than the um the, oh there's the mockingbird and they have smaller fruits than this the other the one behind me they are like o'neill and um south moon they have bigger fruits this one's this one is smaller we're on a shape hunt first stop is what shape is that josh a circle it's onion circle a little angle like that. I think um, a little upper. Oh, uh, uh, there you there go. There you go. Um, a little tight. There we go. Hold still. Hold still. <laughs> Shrink it. That's a triangle. Oh, perfect. Rectangle. I don't think there's a rectangle here, Josh. Oh, let's check in my inventory. Where's your Looking inventory? It's a triangle. It has to be closer. Wait, I will fold it. Hi, Josh. Are those the only shapes? Yeah. Okay. Then submit. I want to cut a little. No. Yeah. Submit. Submit. After you pick your pieces. No, what is it? Journal. Comment. Look at this chart. You see it, Josh? Isn't that very pretty? 
The chart has different colors. Yes. Okay. And some red veined sorrel. These are the red veined sorrel. Look at the leaves. This is arugula. It is edible, so this the flowers are great on salad. Like these flowers make the salad pretty. Should we make salad or no? Hmm. I don't know. Salad with uh. Oh, we should have used all the flowers, right? We don't have any flowers left, I think. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Huh. Yeah, let's make salad. Salad would be nice. <laughs> you like salad? Salad with edible flowers with arugula. Or tomorrow lunch. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you can do whatever you like, that's yours. Put it on the side there. The garden pickings. Red veined sorrel. Very pretty. Celery. And a broccolini. Let's light a candle for hope and gratitude. If this like light it lights up. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Only you can let do this at home. Let's light. You can put that on the um, the window or somewhere. It's like a fire lamp. Yeah, that's what it says on your school's website. Light a candle at seven o'clock. Lamp lamp. Yeah. For hope and lamp. gratitude. I will be making pasta for dinner. I will be using farfalle. This is the ribbon shaped or like a bow tie shaped pasta, and then with the vegetables from the garden, celery. Um, red vein sorrel and broccolini and a bacon uh, this is the bacon so bacon um, pasta and vegetables i am boiling the water and uh, i'm going to put salt always put salt when you make pasta and um, an Italian friend told me that you also have to put olive oil so the pasta won't like stick together. While the water is boiling, let's chat a little bit. Since we are cooking pasta and pasta is from Italy, uh, we are going to talk about Joshua's um, trip in Italy. Right, Josh? So what do you remember? So Joshua has been to Italy is up, Italy is one of the countries we've been to the most actually. We go there every three years or two years, and aside from Mexico, I think we've been to Mexico more than Italy. Uh, but Joshua has been to Milan, um, Venice, and Pavia, right? And Bellagio, yes. Lake Como, Tirano. <laughs> He's been to. A lot of places Germany. in Italy. Oh, Germany is not in Italy. Uh, but like when we were England. eating, we were eating at um, a boat. This restaurant by the Grand Canal. Joshua, what what are, you, what are you doing? I was picking flowers, and then you were not looking, and then you said, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "Hoo hoo hoo!" And then when you're not looking, I pick some more. And I, and then when you looked, I was I was like, I was not doing something. I was like, "Hoo hoo hoo hoo!" hoo. You know, you're very And I put it in here. behind my back. Oh. I was like, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> yeah, at the restaurants they have like you know by the canal <laughs> they have like a hanging baskets with flowers. And that's where you were picking flowers, right? <laughs> it's good that they didn't see you. We would be in trouble. They're probably like, you know, what are you doing, right? But it's very nice there. Yeah. Right? What else? What do you remember from the trip in Italy? Oh, I remember there was a strike. The, the taxi were on strike, right? Oh, wow. And then there was a very, very long line. It was like, sna this was in Milan. They, it, it was snaking around. And then we were at the end of the line. And then we were so worried, like, how how are we going to get to our hotel, right? 
and then they saw us with Joshua, like a ba a child, and then they because they're not they were the tax cops were just driving, but they're not picking custom pick up customers. And then they when they saw us, they they called us and they said we're kind of like exempted from the strike. They they drove us to our hotel. They were very good. These are the vegetables that we picked from the garden. This can be eaten as is, but I'm going to put them in a pasta. I'm cooking the bacon here. Pasta is ready. On the pan where I cook the uh, bacon, I remove the um, the fat and then I'll just add a little bit of olive oil. A little, yeah. Just a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to cook the uh, vegetables that we picked from the garden. Lovely. Add that vegetable. Very pretty and healthy. So broccolini broccolini celery and red bean taro look at that look at the vegetables cooking Just uh, sprinkle a little bit of salt. And a good packing of peppercorns. Peppercorns. Freshly cracked pepper smells so good. Mm. Mm. Look at that. I like the color green and maybe show you it again. <laughs> Look at that. And for the bacon, I'll just cut them into bite-sized pieces like this. So this has everything in uh, a dish. You have your protein from the bacon and then um, the carbohydrates from the pasta and the um, vitamins from the vegetables. Uh, during grade school days, they call it go, grow and glow. Go would be <laughs> the pasta, the rice, bread, and then grow like meat, fish, and then the glow would be the vegetables and fruits. Easier to remember. Here is the pasta. I uh, drizzled some olive oil and then I'm going to add this uh, breadcrumbs, like this one. <laughs> So pasta with olive oil. I need more. I need to add more olive oil. With olive oil and um, dry crumbs. Like that. More olive oil. This more olive oil. It's a little dry. And then the vegetables. And then bacon. So pasta with um, vegetables and bacon. There you go. 
Like that, dinner is ready. Very easy to prepare. The flowers over there, they are from um, the vegetables that I bought it that I cut uh, the other day. Thank you so much for watching. Please to subscribe and like this video. Bye. And don't forget to watch our other videos. And remember. <laughs> Bye, 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 bye. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Daddy, Josh. <laughs> Daddy, eating time.